What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Today, yeah, we know about Baker Mayfield's performance, but to me, I want to look at Chris Godwin. I mean, the guy went from his wife getting on the, the horn saying how, holy crap, the Bucks aren't using him right. My, my husband's out there. He's giving his heart out. And now the guys had two consistent days, and this one, the biggest of the year, 10 catches, 155 yards. Check him out here. I mean, this is Baker just seeing what the hell is the defense doing. They're playing this far back. We saw this against the, the Falcons last week. If they're giving you that much space, just attack it. And then after the snap, post-snap, okay, it's Reed. Where is this corner facing? He's going to start facing inside. If the quarterback knows it's a simple out route, it's too easy for him. The leverage is already given away. He's starting to lean inside, like I said. Just cut that thing out, throw it to space. And that's what Baker does. Easy read, easy out. There it is. Pick up, pick up yards. Godwin, he's really good at that. It's like a running back once the ball is in his hands. Here we go again. This, to me, this is Dave Canales working his magic. I love how they've been using Mike Evans and Chris Godwin on the inside and then finding mismatches. Look at all the, you got man, man match, match up here with the safety over top. Okay. Three covering two. Look at the other side. Got three guys. You got two, three. Okay. Three and three. So we should have like a one-on-one, -on -one, right? So it matters what happens with these two right here, right? So you go at the snap. What's going to happen? K. Dalton's going to go across. Looking at it, there's two guys and no one's really covering him. So he has to make his choice. Is it going to be K. Dalton? Or the easier choice, Galwin, who's just sitting right there because this guy had to get picked up by the running back. Great read by Baker, great decision, and just hitting Godwin right in the numbers, getting upfield. Chris Godwin's really good at that. I don't care if his neck's hurting. He's going to lower his shoulder. He's going to pick up yards. And then play action with Baker. Baker on the run. I've always said this. I feel like he's even better on the run. And this is just stuff they've been doing all season long, flood routes, right? Because if you're going to get your quarterback on the move, let's get some options there, right? So you have Godwin going out. You have Mike Evans with a deep option. Then you have Kate Otten coming underneath. It's all just everyone presenting as a target for your quarterback who's going to, you know, who's going to roll out. Play action fake. We roll it. Like I was saying, Mike Evans is your deep option. Chris Godwin's intermediate with no one around him. And then Kate Otten underneath if, he, if he's covered. So you have so many layers of this offense that you can hit. And then everyone goes to Mike Evans. This was just a game. Okay, if they're going to go to Mike, we got to start hitting Chris Godwin. And they did. And they did consistently. And it picked up yards after yards after yards and came up to be his biggest game of the year. This I love as well. They probably talked to Chris Godwin. What do you do best? What do we need to do to continuously get you the ball? Because clearly we're not getting you the ball properly, right? So Chris Godwin back in the screen game, right? And then have your two best tight end blockers. You have Co'Keefe, you have Kate Otten picking up guys. And I love how quick of a screen it is. It's just literally, okay, there's no one really on him, man, man. We know it's a zone because no one really traveled with him. Get this thing out real quick. Pick up the blocks that were in that area, in that zone. Chris Godwin, lower your shoulder. Do what you do best. Five yards, easy, right? This is stuff we've known he's been good at. Now here, check this out. I love this again. Reading by Baker Mayfield. Good setup play option by Dave Canales. Look at the grouping here. Look what happens after the snap. We hike it. What are we seeing? So, right? Usually this is a screen. Chris Godwin to come down and block. We got blocks. Rashad White going to be open in space. Oh, gosh, he's really good with the ball in his hands, too. This guy feels it. He goes after the running back. Baker sees that, too. He's like, fine, if you're going to go after him, I got a second option, which is Chris Godwin, as you left that space. Too bad. And it was the same similar concept. Kate Otten, do you want to go there, or do you want to go to Chris Godwin? And he, he hits the guy underneath. Chris Godwin, pick up yards. I love how this offense is coming together, and there's so many layers to it. The wrinkle of here, you know he's a really good pass catcher. Chris Godwin's a damn good one. He just hasn't had... The big games until today, right? Until this Packers game. And this is just good timing by Baker. I mean, I know the Packers defense didn't really do much, right? I mean, they, they had a good secondary, but they had a lot of injuries in there. But check out Chris Godwin, literally just going middle of the field. This guy doesn't carry as far. And this guy sees Baker looking that way. But the timing on Baker, check this out. So he's looking. He sees this guy middle of the field. We have two really deep safeties. So no one's really covering middle of the field besides this linebacker. I think Baker's trusting I can get my arm strength to get that position right there. It's even. It's leaving this guy. He's trying to hit it right here. This linebacker just can't make it, make up the ground to pick up yardage to knock this ball down. Chris Godwin, good catch. And this is just Baker knowing the zone, knowing when to release this, good timing, good release, and accurate ball. Because if he throws that a little bit more towards the linebacker, it could be tipped. It could be a monster hit. But look at that. Monster gainer is what that ended up being. Here we go. Keep going. Chris Godwin, this is the, the, the second and 29 play. This is just using what you got, right? Trey Palmer, let's stretch this crap out of the way. 
and let's see what these guys do. Where's the safety go? Clearly, he's going to have to go with Trey Palmer, right? And then Chris Godwin's literally just going right behind him. What are we going to do, buddy? You clear it out. I'm going to go towards the sideline. And then Baker's reading. What is this guy doing? This guy is giving leverage again inside. Like we should, we talked about first play of the game. Inside leverage, fine. Don't get beat deep. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to go to the sideline if you're going to face in, right? So he's just to tossing it out right now. He's making his cut. Baker's throwing it. Perfect accuracy. Good ball right in front of the guy. Chris Gowan probably should have gotten out of bounds. He, I think he was frustrated after the play, but he didn't. Either way, everything about that was, was fantastic. And now more on the screen game. Keep doing it. Two times this, this, this game alone, he had won all the whole entire year. So let's keep doubling down on this. It's clearly, it works. Look at these setups. Trey Palmer has gotten so much better at blocking. Same with Kate Otten. And then you got Trey, Tristan Wirfs over here blocking as well. So a man on a man, all he has to do is beat one guy. But Tristan Wirfs just lets up a little bit too early on this guy. And ends up getting him, which could have been a massive gainer if he holds him a little bit longer. But still, first down, Tampa Bay, move the sticks, keep going, keep using Chris Godwin in that screen, screen game capacity. And here we go again, using the guys on the inside. Your big guys, we, we heard so often. We got two number one receivers. I want to see what they do on the outside. Dave Canales is messing things around, right? He's changing it up a little bit. Now we got to find ways to get mismatches, not just use them because they're so big and fast on the outside. Let's get them up against a linebacker, right? Chris Godwin on a linebacker, I'm going to take that choice 10 times out of 10 again. You saw this linebacker is literally shading over towards Mike. So middle of the field, this is just a 1v1. Chris Godwin, what do you got? Can you beat a linebacker? I think he can. And also, I like the eye usage of Baker initially looking this way to draw this guy even more. Chris Godwin will win one-on-ones. And with this play calling contributed with these setups, look at this route too. Faking it that way, going cutting inside, too easy. Great delivery. Enough to pick up five, six yards after the catch. Yeah, I'll take that 10 times out of 10. Baker's on it with Chris Godwin. Finally, you got Dave Canales, Canales calling these plays beautifully. I mean, things are connecting. It, momentum's pretty much on their side. And I like to see this as a Buccaneer fan because it, it was looking pretty bleak and bad for a little time. Uh, again, here we go. This little grouping in the inside. I think Baker's reading this so well. It's Kate Otten and Chris Godwin again. Like we mentioned time and time again. What's going to happen? What's the mismatch? Again, where's his leverage? He's facing outside. Chris Godwin's going to turn and come inside. It's this is reading leveraging of guys and knowing a linebacker versus a receiver. That's a win for me. We got to attack the mismatches that we have. But I know there's there's times where people are breaking open and routes, but Baker's getting rid of the ball. Doesn't matter. What matchup is he reading? If this one to me, this is too easy. Especially on third down, you got to take this and live with it. If it's an inaccurate pass, okay, it's on Baker. But the, the reads are correct. Almost every read in this game, Baker had a great read. And we'll talk more on Baker later. I just wanted to get the Chris Godwin video out, the guys. So let me know what you think about Chris Godwin. When his wife speaks, things change. That's <laughs> what's so funny. But guys, let me know down below what you think about Chris Godwin's performance, Baker's performance. We'll touch more on Baker, like I said, later. But with that said, until the next one.